What's up guys? My name is Jennifer Brave and today I'm going to be doing my video on how to tell whether or not you might be an Enneagram type 9. Probably something I should mention first in case any of you are wondering. It looks like I'm <laughs> naked while I'm doing this video, but I am not. It's summer here in Texas and I busted out the old tube top, you know, there it is. So, you know, just wanted to put that out there for those of you that may be concerned about how I present myself. With that being said, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the material. If you find that people seek you out to talk to when they're upset, not necessarily for advice, but because they need to vent and you're a good listener, you might be an Enneagram type nine. If you feel equally as comfortable being with a large group of people or a small group of people or being alone, if you can adapt to I mean, pretty much any social situation, you might be an Enneagram type nine. If you're not an ambitious person, and I don't mean that in the bad way, but if you feel like you've reached this equilibrium in your life and you're happy, it's a simple life, it's a relaxed life, it's comfortable and that's what you want. You don't feel like you have to work hard to add anything extra to it. You might be an Enneagram type nine. Honesty time. If you're prone to giving in to what other people want, especially if they start to get upset, just because you want to shut them up and you don't want to deal with it. It's kind of like, fine, just we'll do it your way. Just leave me the fuck alone. You might be an Enneagram type nine. If you're really chill and relaxed and you can weather really difficult things more so than other people without getting riled up, you don't really have a temper. You don't really get depressed or feel too sad. If you get disappointed, you kind of just let that go easily. You might be an Enneagram type nine. If for you, it's the little things in life that make you happy. And I'm gonna give you an example. I have a friend that's a type nine and I came home one day with a toaster that has like the four slots in it instead of two slots. And he saw me walk in with it and he said, Oh man, you got one of the toasters with the four slots. That's how you know you're living the life right there. That's the good life. So that sort of thing. If the simple things make you happy and you don't feel like you have to have extravagant things to make you happy, you might be an Enneagram type nine. If people accuse you of being disengaged or not caring about something because you aren't overtly active immediately, especially in reacting to something that perhaps they would react to, you might be an Enneagram type nine. If people accuse you of being stubborn, even though you don't intend to be stubborn, you might be an Enneagram type nine. If drama drives you crazy and you don't understand why other people get so worked up about things that in your mind are really small and not getting worth worked up over, you might be an Enneagram type nine. If you ascribe to mottos like it is what it is, or you get what you get and you don't throw a fit, you might be an Enneagram type nine. If it's easy for you to find ways to agree with people in conversation, even debates perhaps, because you listen to what other people have to say and you take those things into consideration and you can see why some if not all of what they say makes sense. So you can find some way to agree with someone. You don't necessarily hold really fast to what you believe and what you think every time. You're willing to concede if somebody makes a good point. You might be an Enneagram type nine. If you wanna focus on the positive, because you feel like there's not really a lot you can do about the negative anyway, so you may as well just learn to be happy with what you have and how things are going, you might be an Enneagram type nine. If you find that people often respond to you or assume that you're a very simple-minded person, but in fact, you can be a very intellectual one or a very philosophical one, you might be an Enneagram type nine. Okay, so you've heard the expression, work hard, play hard. If for you, the expression would sound more like work hard, relax hard, you might be an Enneagram type nine. If you find that you have a degree of endurance or tenacity or resiliency that most other people don't have during hard times and you're the one that knows how to keep your shit together and other people start leaning on you for strength, 
you might be an Enneagram type nine. If you find that everybody likes you and you're really popular and it kind of surprises you because you don't even try, you just kind of show up places and everyone's like, oh, so-and-so is here. We really want you here. And you're like, oh, okay, cool. Everyone wants me here. Like, you know, that's awesome. You might be an Enneagram type nine. If it's really uncomfortable for you when people aren't getting along, especially if it's an immediate social circle, like family or friends or perhaps people that you work with, and you get really frustrated with that because it's kind of like, we're all adults, why can't we just be adults and get along and work through this stuff and move on? If you get anxiety when there isn't harmony, if you will, within the group of people that you know, you might be an Enneagram type nine. Honesty time. If you don't have a solid sense of like self identity, and you have to really think about this one because this is a very unconscious thing that's difficult for a lot of nines to notice about themselves. But if you don't have a strong sense of self and you rely on other people to get your opinions on things or define who you are or how you should behave, and I'll give you a couple examples because. My ex-husband was a lot like this, he was a nine. He would change his opinion if I had a different opinion. So for example, if we went and saw a movie and we left the movie and he, like I asked him what he would think and he would say, no, I didn't like it, here's all these reasons. And then we go and we talk to somebody and they say, oh, you saw that movie, what did you think? And I would say, oh, I loved it, it was wonderful. And I give all these reasons. And then my ex-husband would chime in and say, yeah, I loved it too for all of those same reasons. And I was like, you just said like two hours ago that, that you didn't like the movie. I'll give you another example with him. If we had a disagreement and we came to some sort of resolution and later we would talk to his parents or something and we would tell them about it, if his mom or his dad said anything about, well, that's not how I would have handled it. I would have done this. This is really a better outcome besides the one that you guys agreed upon. And he would say, yeah, we should have done that. That is, a, that is a great outcome. And then he would just reopen that argument again because now all of a sudden this thing that he had agreed upon, he doesn't think that anymore. He just takes on the opinion of his parents and doesn't know how to think for himself. So that's an example. And it's something, again, that's really difficult to see in yourself if you're a nine. So think about it a little bit. But if that applies to you, you might be an Enneagram type nine. So those are some examples of traits that you typically find in someone that has an Enneagram type nine personality. If some or most of those traits apply to you, you may of course be an Enneagram type nine. So that's about all for today. Thanks guys.